is on the air. Coming up, another edition of the NFL International Series, and it should be a good one between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. And this carries into the end zone. They had no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Well, the Miami offense going to work here, you know, coming off a 5-11 and 11 finish a season ago. In 2020, that's going to be an interesting one in South Florida. It's tough to say, Charles, whether this is a team, and I'll just phrase it to you, is this a team that is still a year or two away, or are they a team that could possibly compete now for the AFC East title? Well, the head coach, Brian Flores, is not going to stop them from thinking they can compete for a title. But I just don't think there's quite enough talent there yet. They did show us last year that they're going to compete each and every game all the way through, and they won some games they shouldn't have. But I just don't think they're quite there. I think in a year or two, though, under Brian Flores' tutelage and with a new quarterback named Tua Tonga Vailoa, this team will be ready to compete for the AFC East starting in 2021. Yeah, you mentioned Tua, you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick, he certainly wants to play, but he has said, I know I'm the placeholder. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Brings up Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Play fake, it's Fitzpatrick. Sliding out of the pocket. He can run for it, and he will. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. I'm not sure he falls under the category of mobile quarterback, but he's athletic enough that if you don't keep your rush lanes intact, he finds a way to hurt you. As coaches like to say, I wouldn't call him a burner, but enough there in the tank. Fitzpatrick on first down. He leaves this one for Howard. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll be second down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. They go play action. Fitzpatrick. Got him there. It's complete. Williams. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 30. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there should be a pillow back there for him, all right? If, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Throwing again, Fitzpatrick. Well, this is caught by Williams. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 17-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone set. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of pretty effective run there. And now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard. Maybe a touch less. Throwing over the middle, and it 
It's incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. To throw Fitzpatrick. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. The kick by Sanders is good. And the opening drive for the Dolphins yields three. So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now the Bills heading out for their next drive. Remember, they finished 10-6 and six with a playoff berth a year ago. But, gosh, it's now been 24 seasons since a Buffalo playoff win. However, Charles, you think about it for the first time in years, confident optimism in upstate New York that the Bills might wind up being the toast of the new-look AFC East. And Brandon, they're doing their best not to assume that mantle, right? They still want it to be on New England. But let's call it as it is. The Buffalo Bills, to me, are the clear front runner in the AFC East. Remember, there's no Tom Brady in New England anymore. This is their opportunity to take over a division. Remember Brady? He was 32-3 and three against them in his career as a Patriot. And they also spiced up the offense. They got Stephon Diggs from Minnesota, Charles, and Zach Moss in the draft as well. Yeah, you're talking about a true number one receiver for their young quarterback, Josh Allen. And don't forget, that defense is awfully tough and stingy. And they locked up their head coach, Sean McDermott, with a four-year contract extension through 2025. This team is primed to be the new beast of the East if they take care of business. The Dolphins bring on an extra defense back on third down from the gun it's Allen and that is incomplete so the defense able to get off the field here on third down and it's one of the goals of the game they've got to be effective on passing downs it's one of the few things defenses chart how did we do on third down that's a nice start for them in this one on fourth down on is Corey Bohorquez to punt back deep is Albert Wilson Fielded just inside the 30. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And it'll be Dolphin football. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Tremaine Edmonds, the Bills' leading tackler in 2019, in on the stop. At the 46-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Fitzpatrick will hand this to Howard, and he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken.
Fitzpatrick on third and two. Pass the 20. And it's a terrific return here as he's going to have them set up with a first and goal right at about the six-yard line. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Allen going to throw. The quick slant caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A nice job to get 11 out of that pass play, but now they face a third and goal. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? Well, it's tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the... And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Tyler Croft there to make the grab. And the Bills have taken the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. And he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Boy, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. Bills 7, Dolphins 3. taken in about four yards deep and this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it out comes the Miami offensive unit now they get set to take over and following the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no you just throw that out the window I think you are I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go ah totally didn't affect me let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again you're going to take care of it but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the shotgun, it's Fitzpatrick. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Matt Breida out of the backfield. But now it'll be third down. Let's phrase this delicately, okay? Might have had a better option instead of throwing the football into double coverage. He was blanketed. I was surprised that he went his direction. Yeah, should have thought maybe about the check down. Take the completion, keep moving. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. When I see Mike Kosicki make a catch, I'm reminded of his athletic ability. And go back to the time we were leading up to the draft and showing his career highlights, including high school volleyball, where he appeared he was almost jumping over the net. I expect him to continue to grow in 2020. Start to make progress in 2019. Five touchdown catches and 570 total yards. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Probably you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. 
incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. On third down, Fitzpatrick. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. What we've seen so far in this game, they are not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath. They'll give you that, but they're not going to let you beat them deep. On fourth down, Matt Hawk to punt it away. Andre Roberts is deep for Buffalo. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Allen now on first down. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. A loss of defense went 3-4. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack, he's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? To try again after the sack. Allen throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Devin Singletary there, and it's third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. Going deep for Diggs. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Incomplete. And that may have been incomplete, but he reminds me so much of when my dad used to take me to the baseball stadium and watch the home run hitters in batting practice. I'll get to the stadium early just to watch this kid throw it. He can throw it out of the stadium. The Bills send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Miami set to take over. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it over. You didn't turn it over, right? You're giving, it, you're giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. Wow, now we got to go out there and stop people. So, yeah, there's always something bonds to be gained from it. Second and four at the 47-yard line. Four yards remain for second down. This is Howard on the toss right. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Carry there by Jordan Howard. And we all know he started his career in Chicago and was a two-time 1,000-yard rusher. He spent 2019 in Philadelphia battling injuries. But when he's healthy, can be a flat-out workhorse and can break down defenses. On first, they go right back to Howard. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. That's a gain of three. Brings up third and After three. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports.
The Dolphins on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This time it's third and three. And Wilson has it. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. First and 10. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. The all-pro corner, Tredavious White picks it off. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Allen in the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 41-yard line. He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Quick slant to Brown. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 13 at a Buffalo first down. John Brown with the reception. What a year he had in 2019. Had his first 1,000-yard season since 2015 and had the most catches in his career as well with 72. A very dangerous target both downfield and in the short areas where he can make the catch and make people miss. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. On second and 12, Allen. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 38. They'll begin the drive with Howard. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. On first down, they run with Howard. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the 38, Fitzpatrick completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. 
The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he's trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. At the 10-yard line, it's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe a Dolphin got going a little early. start penalty certainly not helping their cause here second down and long play action now Fitzpatrick and incomplete he was looking for his tight end Mike Kosicki and it'll bring up third down great coverage there all around really didn't have many options to throw the football very little chance that that one was going to be completed every receiver was locked up the Dolphins on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third down and 12. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. Caught. It's Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. A 29-yard attempt. Sanders kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Christian Wilkins able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. How many times have we sat with coordinators, and especially the defensive guys, they've talked about big plays, sacks, they often come in bunches. Well, it may not be a bunch here, but that is the third sack of the game for them. And around sack three or four, I would think, it starts to get in the quarterback's head a little bit. Not just the quarterback, the offensive play caller, the offensive line, knocks people off balance and changes what they normally do. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The Bills on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And able to find John Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Allen finding Brown for a Bills first down. First and ten. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. They'll run on first down with Singletary. 
Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all Lebanon defense able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? Still going. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Single carry again. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 30 on second down, Allen. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It's Shaq Lawson who worked his way in there to get him down. But that takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And this one caught by Beasley. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. to throw again. Fitzpatrick. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 15 yards on the play. First down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. from the gun. Fitzpatrick. Wilson's got it complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Fitzpatrick, the old war horse, getting everybody up to the line quickly. Fitzpatrick throwing complete, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there and a first down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy on the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw, and a good one. Fitzpatrick's pass. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way, full steam, and he broke that one up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
Throwing again. Fitzpatrick. And a completion to Wilson. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Fitzpatrick again. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Here's Matt Hawk now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Buffalo set to get the football back here. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position, not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there... That can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Finding Knox there, complete. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, Allen. They'll roll him. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Kyle Van Noy in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. So we're at halftime with our score 7-6 in a tough-fought first half. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach and Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. One play has them up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Devon Godshow up to make the tackle. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Throwing on second and eight. Allen, he'll buy some time right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 47. Operating from the gun. 
Allen. And John Brown's got it complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Here's Allen on first and 10, looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker, and the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Following the interception here, Fitzpatrick. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first plan, attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. On first down, Howard. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally, you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here's Matt Hawk now as he's on to punt for Miami. And that is very well done there, as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's going to take off with it. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Second and four. Singletary here running out of the gun. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up third down and two. They'll try and run for this with Moss. And he'll have the first down as he's up to about the 18. A pickup of five yards. First down, Buffalo. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run on first down. Singletary. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Jerome Baker, the Dolphins' leading tackler a season ago, tallies another one. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. 
A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket. But just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To the air, Allen. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Christian Wilkins picks up his second sack of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. The Bills send the punter out, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. And taken at the 46. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Fitzpatrick to throw it. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game. And I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we've got this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they missed a golden opportunity. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Five yards. Now it's third and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and five. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. From the shotgun, it's Fitzpatrick. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. To the air again, Fitzpatrick. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there. But for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator. But how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. On second down and four, Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Caught that look from me there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On first down, Singletary. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Devin Singletary, the ball Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. So that'll back him up five. On 
second down. Here's Allen. And his throw is incomplete. Intended. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Allen. Flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. What I enjoyed most about watching Devin Singletary as a rookie, and he had a nice campaign, 775 yards on the ground and a rushing average in the top five in the league last year is that what I saw in college transferred to the NFL. Continued to make the first tackler miss. When he was and he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Christian Wilkins able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. After the sack here, second and 11. Here's Allen to throw it. He'll run it. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Seven makes it third and four. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. From the gun. Allen. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. And not enough on the throw that time, as that one is incomplete. So off goes Allen, and on comes Steven Hauschka for the Buffalo field goal. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Back out onto the field to kick it away. This is Jakeem Grant. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Miami set to take over. And last time we saw them go for it in kind of an unusual situation. It's not like it's a fourth quarter do or die. They went for it, didn't get it. We'll see how that affects them this go around. Partner, I'm wondering if we're starting to see the effects of analytics coming into play here, where people are studying the number of possessions, how many times you should go for it, what position it leaves your team in. Maybe we're starting to see a little bit of that creeping into the NFL game. Yeah, I think we, we've seen it in other sports, maybe into the NFL now as well. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Fitzpatrick now to throw on first down. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. 
third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Out of the shotgun, Breda. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Ball carrier. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On third down, Fitzpatrick. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. Here's Matt Hawk now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And that will bring up second down. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh, yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one and none of them being done very calm. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Christian Wilkins, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. 83 yards receiving now for him on the afternoon as he's got a first down here. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Allen's throw is complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Cole Beasley. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 35-yard line. Now a second down and six. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4... You've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator is going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive linemen, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try to make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. Three yards the gain there, second down. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. 
This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Allen going to get this one to Singletary. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 44-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Second and seven. Operating from the gun, Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. They'll run on first down. Singletary and able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Second and seven from the 20. Singletary again. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 15-yard line. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. That's caught by Brown for a Bills touchdown. John Brown there to make the grab. And the Bills will extend their lead. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The Booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Here's Hauschka for the extra point. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. to six. Makes the score Bills 17, Dolphins 6. now to send this one away following the score. Now this will make it into the end zone. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. So now here come the Dolphins. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. 
Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. Fighting through. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, they're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Here's second and ten. To throw again, Fitzpatrick. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. And that will be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time, Fitzpatrick on fourth down. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Bills are gonna take over in excellent field position. And so they really needed points here in a two-score game, could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. That catch good for only a couple. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Throwing his Allen on third. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So that's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Back out onto the field to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. See if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. 
And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Preston Williams, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed always different no matter what you do in practice you can't simulate it right so your decision making everything has to be a little bit quicker sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust now this one to his running back out of the backfield he'll get only three there so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead and we're definitely getting towards the point of the game where not getting a lot of yards is secondary to keeping the clock moving i mean to me that's a double win defensively short gain and some more time off the clock. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A first down and then some, 36 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. They'll throw again, Fitzpatrick, and a completion to Wilson. And he's going to have a first down on a gain of about 10, and that'll take us to the two-minute warning. zone now Fitzpatrick looking middle and it's incomplete Fitzpatrick that was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver and it results in an incomplete pass second and ten throwing again Fitzpatrick and it's caught and he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Ryan Fitzpatrick with a touchdown pass to Devontae Parker. And the Dolphins able to get this back within a touchdown. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. now to return it and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25 and here come the bills and this game not quite over yet and we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively so they can't just kneel this one out they're gonna have to try to run a few plays you're exactly right they've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand First down, they'll start out with Singletary. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. 
as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. Another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you absolutely have to have them. They go over this all the time. Here's one of those situations. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. throw is Allen and that is incomplete I know at times people think we use it too often but you've got to be able to throw guys open and when you read zone you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone otherwise you bring him into the play and that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass the Bills send the punter out as he's on for the fifth time here today and he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Fitzpatrick and the Dolphins now. Down 20-13, to 90 seconds remaining. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Back to throw. Got his man, it's Williams. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one, got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They'll look to throw. That one into the hands of Laird. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got to hustle. They got to get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Fitzpatrick to throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Wilson's got it complete. Takes this to the 45, broken tackle. Bought him a little extra space. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. And remember, field goal does them no good in this situation. You gotta think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. He's back to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Fitzpatrick. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Bills are going to get the football back. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 45. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. Now 
the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. The clock cannot be stopped here. Defense can't do anything. So kneel it down, take it home. No doubt about it is what you practice for in winning situations each and every week. Victory formation. Take a knee and go on into the locker room and celebrate. Call it a victory. Allen on the keeper. Today's final so it's a victory here for the Bills Buffalo Bills. Bills. And despite the cold, despite the snow, this one was fun to watch. And I want to thank you for bringing two things, the space heater <laughs> and the hot chocolate. Those were a big help for us here in the booth. Yeah, just so you know, in the future, get your own space heater. Okay, I'm an only child. I don't share very often. But this had to bring out like the 12-year-old in us, didn't it? I mean, to be able to watch this. And let's face it, when you were that age, you didn't come inside until mom screamed, get inside now, young man, because you wanted to be out there just having a good time. And actually, you almost forgot just how cold it was. I'm sure these guys didn't, but they ended up playing just like those 12-year-olds and getting it done. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say cheerio from London.